Hello and welcome to my workshop. In the next set of videos, I'll be making cutting boards. Cutting boards are not that difficult to make. Uh, if you have seen my previous video on handling oversized wood, you will see that the process is quite simple. Simply create two flat surfaces that are parallel to each other and then you cut according to size. I prefer my cutting boards done from a single block of wood simply because I don't like to deal with glue joints and glue joints eventually break apart, you know, through that constant uh, washing and drying and washing and drying. Uh, the challenge with the single block of wood is finding the right width of the wood that is free from imperfections. And by imperfections, I mean something like this. I know that's going to look really pretty on a cutting board as a design, but it's really not recommended because any juices of things that you cut may fall into the little crevices that are here and without proper ventilation, it may start to grow bacteria which you don't really want. Um, I can fix this by pouring resin, but then resin is a chemical and a cutting board you may eventually cut that chemical and put it into your food and you really don't want that either. And finally, I can fix it with wood glue and sawdust, but then again, too much wood glue. So really, I prefer my, my cutting boards to be from a single block without any imperfections or minor imperfections that can be easily fixed. I finished the work on the maple cutting boards last week when I was actually making the pro tip video. Today, I'm gonna to be working on the cherry. Uh, hopefully next week I will be making a uh, checkered board and grain cutting board between the cherry and the maple. So I will take you through the process of designing, uh, measuring, cutting, gluing, measuring, cutting, gluing, and probably more measuring, cutting, and gluing to come up with that pattern. And hopefully the week after I will actually take you on a journey of how I finish my cutting boards and that involves what I call an oil bath and vacuum. So now let's get my hands on the cherry and uh, keep working. I am interrupting this beautiful classical moment to show you how quickly things can get bound between the moving parts of the tool. Fortunately, it wasn't my fingers as I was using all the safety procedures and therefore disaster avoided.
And this almost concludes the working on the single wood cutting boards. And the reason I say almost is that I still need to create the uh, groove for the handle grip. I need to install the feet, sand and finish. Well, maybe not in that exact particular order, but that's still left to be done. Uh, and probably I'm going to finish those tasks once I finish the uh, checkered board patterns. Uh, but in the meantime, <laughs> if you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified of my next video release and also follow me on all social media channels.